Google VO3 Consistent Character Tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can build consistent characters using Google VO3. So let's get started. Starting off, head on over to labs.google and then click on launch flow. Now you can use VO3 within Google's Gemini as well, but I personally prefer flow because it is just easier to use. From here, you're going to click on sign in with Google and you can sign in with your Google account. I'm just going to select my Google account from here to proceed. Once you have selected your Google account, you do need to be a AI subscriber to generate. You get your first month completely for free and after that it's $19.99 per month for the Google AI Pro subscription. So I'm going to click on subscribe over here and I'm going to complete my details to proceed with my free trial. Now, once you have completed your basic subscription, this is what your flow dashboard is going to look like. Now in your flow, in your flow dashboard, the first thing you're going to do is click on new project over here. Once you click on new project on the bottom, you can see text to video and frames to video. Now for consistent character building, we can choose text to video because we first want to create the initial part of our character. Then on the right side, you will see settings. This determines the number of outputs and you can choose anywhere between one to four. Then below that, you also have your credits. So in your credits, you have VO2 fast, which takes 10 credits, VO3 fast, which takes 20 credits, and then VO2 and 3 quality both take 100 credits. So today I'm going to be using VO3 fast for our first character. To get started, I'm going to enter the description of my character. To build a consistent character that can easily be replicated throughout, I want to be as detailed as possible. So starting off, you're going to define your subject. So my character is in her mid 20s. She's 5'7", Middle Eastern, or let's say she's yeah Middle Eastern, has olive skin, a beautiful tan and has big brown eyes, a small upturned nose with chubby cheeks and plump lips and a scar on her top right forehead. Now from here, I've described some of the basics of my character. However, there are a lot of details that I can also include. This includes things such as any specific birthmark you want to add, the character's clothing, the character's general appearance, whether or not they are attractive, whether or not they are cute, or any adjective to describe the character. The more adjectives you have, the better grasp the AI tool will have on what type of character you're trying to create. Because we are using VO3, it can also generate audio for me. So I haven't described the hair of the character, so I wanted to have she has medium or she has wavy, slightly wavy hair, wavy black hair, which is messy. And I want to describe the length. It reaches her back. Now from here, I can define what my character is doing. So for my character to be doing something, I want her to be looking straight at the camera. She is looking straight at the camera and she says, Hi, my name's Liana. Now from here, I can also define the background. Now you might say, hey, I only want a consistent character. What relation does the background have? Well, if you're trying to build a scene, you definitely should have some type of background environment ready. So I want a really basic scene. I'm just going to leave it at a bedroom. So the background shows her bedroom and now i'm going to just put in the prompt and we're going to wait a couple of seconds for our video to be created and within a couple of seconds our video has been created so let's take a look at what type of character it has created so you guys can see this is what our character looks like now if you want to make any further tweaks to your character this is the right time to do so so you can take your original prompt and then modify and make any changes that you want i personally like how it has created my character so what i'm going to be doing from here here. Now this is where a lot of people make the mistake of copying the prompt and then trying to generate a new video. If you want your character to remain consistent, what you want to do is click on the video and you guys can see you have your options on the top right, but you can see this option of adding to a scene on the top left. You're going to click on add to scene and then you're going to proceed with your next scene. Whether it's a completely different scene, it does not matter. If you want your character to stay consistent, 
you're going to click on add to scene and then click on this plus icon. Once you click on this plus icon, you can click on jump to to jump to a completely different scene, or you can click on the plus icon and then click on extend, and then you will have an extended shot. The extended shot capability allows you to take your initial shot and then elongate it or make it a longer video. So the girl stands up and walks to her desk, let's say. And now from here, I have not been describing too much detail i'm going to change the model to v3 and then i'm going to redefine this so the girl stands up and i'm not you guys can see i'm not adding the description of the girl it's very obvious that i'm referring to the girl that we're extending the scene about if you have multiple different characters within the scene you do want to define who you are talking about so the girl stands up and walks out of her room to her house and says welcome to liana's sanctuary or liana's home and now i'm going to select the relevant model that is going to be required for this and it is going to be v3 so i'm just going to be selecting that and then proceeding so now you guys can see that our second scene has been generated and i'm just going to play it for you so first off she's talking and this was our first scene and now it's going to switch on over into the second scene and now it has switched on over into the second scene and it's the same exact girl i'm just going to put this on full screen so you guys can see that the character is very much consistent take a look at this face over here it's exactly the same face as we saw over here and even the overall proportions and the vibe of the house is pretty nicely cohesive with our original video so on and so forth you can proceed with creating different scenes and you don't necessarily have to create the same backgrounds over and over again if you want you can place the same character in a completely different setting simply by going into extend and then just define the new shot so the character in a new shot just write that at the start of your prompt and your character will be in a completely new shot if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video